Assalamu alaikum guys, we're in Sarajevo and this is called Baš Chashia. Right? Well, more further this side. That we're way. like here in downtown center. Okay, this Baš is, is a little bit more over there. So we're standing behind a Catholic, Catholic church. church yes. Catholic church. One interesting thing is that is this true that during the war, this was the greatest genocide that had happened after World War II here and pretty much uh, we don't blame Christianity even though it was a crusade against Muslims but we don't blame Christianity even though it was hijacked at that time but that's just an interesting point but another even more interesting point is that Muslims executing the teachings of Islam and Prophet Muhammad's orders you will not have seen if they weren't following Islam Islam preserved this church is that right? that's right like in Sarajevo I don't know the number of the churches, how, how many churches are in Sarajevo, but uh, not a single one during the three and a half years occupation of Sarajevo was destroyed. This is the main church of Sarajevo, it's in downtown, like the straight downtown area. Uh, the only thing that, that got, uh, it, it wasn't destroyed, but uh, the, the grenades from the, from the Serbian side that, that dropped thousands, over 500,000 grenades dropped during the three and a half years. And uh, the, the, the only damage, it, it got the churches from those grenades. So mm -hmm. not, not a single church was destroyed or, or uh, anything by, by the Muslim side, by the Bosnians. So before the Geneva Convention Code, there was the mercy that the Creator sent through the mercy to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, who said, don't kill in the innocent non-combatants. Now when you're fighting in combat, you know, what are you going to send a guy, you know, a love letter? No, you're in combat against an enemy, self-defense. But we're talking about now the places of worship, they're off limits. So unlike others who are just destroying, demolishing mosques and houses of worship, Islam forbids that. And that's why this is, we're, we're able to stand in front of a church right here and witness that. And we just heard the bell, right? Yes, also. the bell was right there. And it's been all the time during the war, the bell was here. And uh, like I said, not a single church was destroyed or damaged by the Bosnians, by the Muslims during the war. There's also 50 meter, meters down there, there's a Serbian Orthodox Church. Uh, the Serbs occupied the town. It was occupied for three and a half years. And uh, the church in downtown Sarajevo wasn't touched by the Muslims, by the Bosnians, because the church didn't occupy the, 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 the city, the, the military, the army, the Serbian army did. So this is an, another example of Islam being a mercy for mankind and for the Croatians and Serbians this is a uniting factor that Islam is able to bring all of these nationalities together under the worship because you have Serbians, Croatians and Bosnians that can actually, they're, they're Muslim worshipping one God beyond all the nationalism. Yeah, nationalism, it, it's not important. Islam doesn't recognize nationalism. Islam doesn't teach nationalism, Islam is sub submission to God and that's what makes you a Muslim when you submit to God no matter what nationality you are. Muslim, uh, Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian, German, European, American, no matter. You learn something here beyond all the hype, continue to tune in. We're here in Bosnia bringing some fast not fiction. We'll see you next time. Peace be with you. Salam alaikum. Mato. 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 So you got a, a Croatian and a Bosnian together, and that's how we should be working together as human beings, right? Dump all the nationalism because there's only one creator, one God.